Hi everyone, it's getting close to Valentine's Day so I thought I would draw the flower of love. So I will speed this bit up because I know you're not really likely to be following along drawing with me. The drawing is quite a tricky part. So bear with me till I get this drawn out. Okay, it's all drawn out. Let's get painting in some of these petals. So I've got, this is Quinacton uh, Rose. So I'm going straight into a dark petal uh, with quite, um, quite saturated colour there. For me anyway, because usually I, I quite often start with quite pale colours. Um, but there's a dark part and this part here is dark so I'm just going around different areas that are not touching each other um, so the paint doesn't bleed into um, the other bit that's wet so there's that now if I go into this one here I'm wanting it to be darker towards there and then a wee bit paler as it comes out so I'll put the colour there and I'll wash the colour out of my brush, tap it on a tissue and then blend it out. Okay. Right, I'm going to go around this big leaf here, uh, big petal here and do the same sort of thing. So. It's darker towards this area and then there's a lot of water on my brush there so I'm going to wash the colour out of the brush and pull the colour out where it is much more um, much less saturated because that paint was was very uh, there was a lot of water there then it's pulling a lot of the paint out as well as I'm going so I need to wash more of the paint out of my brush as I go out the way anyway that's and I'm going to push some of that paint back into the center as well okay this petal here I want it to be a little bit paler than the other petals that I've painted so there's not so much color on my brush I put a little bit on and then wash the colour off and blend that colour again so this petal is much paler for just now anyway and we will do the same thing for this petal here it's okay that I'm touching the edge of the other petal just now because although this petal is paler uh, around the edges of it could be a little bit darker as well where the shadows would start to creep in and the same for this one so it's a first layer and I'll go back over a lot of these petals okay this one down here I want it to be back to the darker more saturated colour As it comes out to the edge of the petal it's a little bit paler. Now I'm just going to check and see if that one's dry. It's not quite dry so I'm going to leave that alone. I'm going to put a little wash of um, <clears throat> the pale pink inside here as well. I'll just get some of that paint off my brush. It's a wee bit too dark. So I'm just, just filling in really the whole centre of the rose. 
and there's another petal at the bottom here that I can paint dark just now. Right, this little one up here. I've added a tiny touch of um, alizarin crimson to this one. Um, this is still in the sort of bud stage. So I think they're quite often darker when they're still in the kind of bud stage. So I'm washing the colour out of my brush and blending it up. So while I wait for the paint to dry on the flowers, I'm just going to paint in the stems. So this is sap green I'm using here. And the stems, the rose stems have all these tiny little thorns sticking out of them. I'm going to add a, a really small touch of pink to these stems, which brings it back to a sort of greeny brown colour in places. I remember in school adding a little bit of red or pink to some of the flower paintings we were doing and I remember being thrilled with how realistic it, it, it made the green look because green, green watercolour paint can look quite artificial. So I'm going to go in and put the first layer of colour on the leaves as well. Yeah, I see the first layer of colour. Uh, rose leaves can be quite dark, so I'm not going to go straight in with the dark colour. I'm going to go in with this sap green again, first of all. So this leaf, for example, you can see there's a line through it there. So this is one side of the leaf, and then you can see the other, the underside of the leaf there. So I will probably go in with a darker green for that underside of the leaf bit there. I've added a little bit of blue to my green to make it darker because I think these leaves up here. Oh, sometimes if you've got too much colour paint or water on your brush you, you, you lose the sharpness of the end of it so I had a little bit too much there so I lost my point of the leaf that I'd drawn out anyway so I added a little bit of blue to the green um, because this leaf is a lot darker and I'll paint these in as well with the darker green It was Payne's grey I added, which is a very, which is a sort of bluey grey, a dark blue. Okay, so we're basically just colouring in these leaves. We're just putting the flat colour across the whole leaf at the moment. So for this little uh, bit of the petal here, I'm going to go in with the, the paler pink wash. I don't know if that's pale enough. I had to wait for the other side of the leaf to dry uh, to do this, otherwise we wouldn't have the sharp edge there. So we wouldn't have that um, distinct stop uh, to that bit of, of colour there. It would have bled in and it would have been a, a gradient rather than an edge. So, so far this has been painted with quinacridone rose, which is a, a kind of pink colour. I'm now going to go back in with um, a lizard and crimson, um, which will darken, give us a lovely dark colour for the dark areas that we're wanting. Um, so 
so I'm going to put in there. I'm also going to stretch it across to the inside of this leaf and I'll take it up there. And then oh, I'm going to add it there as well. This is sort of, this is the underside of this petal here. Okay, wash my brush off. Wash the, the colour out of the brush. Tap the brush so the brush isn't absolutely soaking. I come back in and blend it out. Wash it off again. Because sometimes if you keep blending, you're just pulling the colour as a flat wash over the whole area. So sometimes you need to keep washing the colour out of your brush so you get the colour fade that you're looking for. I'm going to go inside this petal here because this area is dark. So I'm just darkening it there. And I'm going to go on this side of this petal. And follow this round here. So I'm just sort of darkening underneath where these outer petals are. Right, I'm going to put a bit of darker colour at the bottom of this petal. Blend it up. And you can see as we keep doing that, uh, a lot of the petals become similar in colour to the other petals. So I'll be going back round again to darken this area here, which is in complete shadow and, and other bits over there. Um, but in the meantime, I will add a little bit of colour there, wash the brush out. And just soften the edge of that colour. And the same round the edge of this one. Because it's a curved petal curving down and in, then the edge around the bottom would be darker than the bit up at the top. Now there does come a point when you're doing things like flowers where the, the colour is quite delicate that you may uh, want to go and get some clean water because your water by this stage is probably quite pink. So when you're washing, you know, when you're doing something that's um, relying on water, clean water, you're not really getting clean water because the water in your water jar is now pink. Okay, I've added a little bit of Payne's Grey to the pink um, and I'm going to go over to this bud and darken um, the right hand side here. Put a little bit of that darker colour there. I've yet to paint that little leaf um, and I've left that because I'm going to paint it a paler, a paler colour to make it stand out. And I'm going to use that same slightly darker colour to go back in here again. Uh, I didn't wait long enough though, the paint is still a tiny wee bit wet, so I might get what's called blooms. If the paint is still a little bit damp and you go in with freshly wet paint. And underneath here. And a little bit over here. And blend it out. So 
quite a lot of water in this petal, so I'm trying to pick it up with my brush as well. So over here we want this a wee bit darker. We want it darker on the inside of this petal as well. Oh, I've added a little bit too much blue to that colour there. So I'm going to go and dark, uh, darken a little bit of the, the leaves so that, that the underside of this leaf that I mentioned earlier, um, this would be in the shade, so I can just go straight in and use a darker green, uh, which is just sap green with a little bit of blue added to it again. I'll do that there. I'm going to darken these leaves up here with a second layer. This last one here, I'll darken it, it's behind the stem so it gives a nice um, bit of contrast so you can see the stem is in front of it. And I'm putting a pale wash onto this leaf here. I'm going for a little bit more green in it, I think, though it's too too yellow. So I'll just tap that green onto the wet paint. Right, so I want to go in and darken the stem underneath where it comes out from the flower. Yeah, just a bit of shadow. And the same up here. It's very dark compared to the rest of it, so I'll pull it out. So for these leaves here, I'm going to I'm going to really lightly paint in some lines because you you see these on the rose petals. Um, so really fine lines coming up like that. Right, there are a few more areas that I can see need uh, darkening still. Um, the the tone round here is all too similar. So I think this needs, and that leaf shape's a bit strange as well, so I'm just going to go over the line there. So I think this all needs a bit extra depth of colour. Perhaps a little bit up here. And then I'll do my usual, go and blend it all out. And perhaps in here a little bit as well. And a little bit more darkness in here, in the centre of the area. Hey, there's one more thing I wanted to do, which was what? Yes, do something with the leaves because this leaf is looking leaf is looking a wee bit flat. Um, so I'm just going to darken some of the edges, just to give a feeling of light hitting it in different places. And 
this one is looking a little bit peely wally so we'll just put a wee bit in there and a final wash I think over this petal here because it's too bright considering it's facing down the way and there we have our rose and rosebud Thank you for watching and give it a go yourselves. Bye.